Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the right data to Google Sheet Step. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. OK, so you can see on the screen, I've already set up an Axiom. It's reading a set of links from Google Sheet, and then it loops through those links in a go-to page before scraping the data. Now, I want to output that data, so a perfect place to do that is to a Google Sheet, and that's why I'm going to use the right data to do Google Sheet step. Now, it's a pretty easy step to use. All you need to do is enter the URL or search for the Google Sheet you, you wish to use. Now, you want to enter the sheet name you want to write to. That's data in this case. You'll see that Axiom, by and large, if you're adding steps in, in the correct order, will by default work out which data you want to insert to that and write to that sheet. You can change it by specifying or selecting a different token, but in this case, it's set the correct token. Next, you can use this toggle um, switch to basically um, clear data or add to existing. Clear data will obviously clear your sheet every time when you run the bot. Now, another option that works well when adding to existing data is a starting cell. So for example, you've already got some data in a sheet and you want to use a run to populate some columns. Let's say column E, where you can specify to start your writing operation from column E. For example, I could enter E1 and Axiom would write to column E1. Finally, we have a write method and that's to allow you to use formulas from the sheets or not. OK, hope you find that useful. The next video will talk you through how to do delete rows from a Google Sheet. Thank you.